Hey guys, how's your day going? Graham here. I'm having an afternoon cup of coffee at Panera. Uh, I'm enjoying the sun. Um, yeah, I've taken a break for a few days from doing some videos, but I'm back. So, uh, what have you been up to this week? I've had a busy week doing lots of practical admin things, computer coding, uh, preparing some lessons, just setting things up for the fall. Uh, I prefer autumn to fall, the autumn season. So a good week, yeah, and uh, just lots of good things God is stirring in me. In the month of September, uh, in the churches here in New England, I'm going to be preparing a mess, speaking, sharing a message that I've been actually preparing in my heart for about 20 years, I think, and I've never once spoken about. But I'm going to be speaking about Leviticus 25 and Luke 4, about the year of Jubilee, the Shemitah, the great Jubilee. The Jubilee was just this incredible year of debt cancellation of God's supernatural power coming on natural resource to eliminate all debt and all bondage. And Jesus stands up in Luke 4, quotes Isaiah 61, and he says, I am your Jubilee. You don't need to wait every 50 years. I am the Jubilee. And I'm going to be unpacking over a five-week period how we how we contend and live a life uh, in the freedom that God has for us in every aspect of our life. And that actually includes debt freedom. You know, in the church I lead here in Sturbridge, we've been on a journey. When I took over the church, it owed nearly 300000 in debt. And uh, we've just been believing God. Every time I go in the building, I confess by faith, this church is debt free. And I've seen that go from 300000 to now $6,000. And I'm believing that it's going to go to zero in the month of September. So we're having a, a month of Jubilee. No matter where you are, I invite you to come and join uh, in Sturbridge in NEF. We'll be in Otis. Or if you're further afield, why not connect with some of these services online? We put our Sunday services um, on the YouTube channel here. Good. Uh, what else have I been thinking today? Um, let me read a great verse I've been meditating on today. This is such a great verse. This is Micah 2.13. It says, The one who breaks through the walls will push through the walls to the front of the people. He will break through the gates and leave the city. He will leave with the kings marching. They will leave with the kings marching before them and the Lord in front of his people. You know, I've just been meditating on that today. God is the God of a breakthrough and he wants to be breakthrough. He's looking for leaders who will lead the people of God into breakthrough. But the kings, the leaders, the pastors, the priests, if you will, they're not at the front. The Lord is at the front. He is the, the chief we're following. And I think God wants to be the God of the breakthrough in every area of your life. And I, just a little thought here today, but it's so easy to let, it's like gravity pulls us back to this normal, boring, evangelical world in which we're constantly making excuses for why we don't see things happen or why this doesn't happen or it's not God's timing or whatever. And I have found so often that even, you know, God is always willing to meet hungry, desperate people who come to him in faith and believe him for the impossible, believe him for breakthrough. Once years ago, God showed me a vision and it looked like a cone, like a traffic cone, a, a big cone. And um, it's like the cone was the, the larger, um, circle was seated on earth and there was a tiny little you know the tiny aperture was in heaven and I felt the Lord saying to me that the there's more things going from earth to heaven than at any time in human history there's more people worshiping God today than there ever have been in human history more prayers being prayed more glory being given more coming from earth to heaven and then it's like the Lord said to me but there's so little going from heaven to earth because God's people don't yet still yet haven't learned how to believe. God's people prefer to invent and manufacture and teach and replicate excuses rather than to contend and believe for breakthrough. You know, in a way, we look at our circumstances, we look at the word, and what we often choose to do, like Thomas, is we choose to align ourselves with what we see, smell, feel, taste, and touch, rather than aligning ourselves with, with it is written. <laughs> So I want to encourage you today to be greedy. I, I've learned in my life that it's actually, it's like, it's really hard to steer a parked car. You know, James talks about the rudder of a ship being the tongue. 
but a rudder is useless unless you go somewhere and I know that God is I think God is I don't want to say God finds it easier because everything's possible with him but in a way I think God prefers it when people ask for too much and God has to say hold your horses hoss you know slow down a little bit that when people are lazy and apathetic and ask for nothing so why not ask 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 for souls ask for breakthrough ask for freedom don't be content with what you saw yesterday the God of the breakthrough wants to smash through the walls you know so often we Whatever we, what we do in the body of Christ in every culture, in every country. I've never been to any country on the world where people don't tell me it's really hard around here. People are resistant to the gospel. You know, it's like we, we make much of the cultural walls that Satan has managed to build in the strongholds of people's minds lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ would shine upon them. And those things are real and we don't need to deny them. And yet, come on, it was never our power, our intellect, our gifting that broke through those walls anyway. It was always the spirit of the living God. So I encourage you today, let's stop making much of the walls. Let's make much of the God of the breakthrough. Good. Well, I'm going to check out, hey, a few housekeeping things as well. If you haven't yet done that, really uh, encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the little friendly red button down there or uh, give the bell symbol a press for about three seconds as well. Uh, if you haven't signed up for our email newsletter as well, I'll put a link in the notes for today. We send out a newsletter every week and just news, updates, upcoming events, mission trips, lots of things going on there. So we'd love to connect with you in that way. Uh, there's still time to sign up for the School of Ministry, ministryschool.net. Again, I'll put a link in the show notes today for this. There's time to sign up. You can attend in person here in New England or also online. Um, thanks again to all of the partners of GJM. If you're not yet a partner, again, I'll put a link there. And lastly, I wanted to mention on September 28th here in New England, I'll be doing a resource day. Uh, it's just a day where people can come from all over New England and we, we want to be a blessing. I'm going to get some of my team to be teaching on different things. I'm going to be teaching on cultural breakthrough. We're going to do prayer impartation. We're going to give everybody lunch for free. And we're also going to offer half hour personal one on one prophetic mentoring sessions where we, we help people come up with a roadmap to move forward in the call of God for their life. So if you are anywhere near the New England area, any, if you're able to make it uh, into Central Mass September 28th, you are invited. We would love to have you there. Great. Well, listen, guys, this is Graham Hang signing off. Uh, Leah and my boys are back tomorrow. They're flying into New York and will be making their way up to Mass. So uh, it be great to have them back. The boys are back in town. And uh, yeah, looking forward to all that God has in September. So bless you wherever you're at. Hey, if you have anything you want me to pray for you today, please uh, leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, drop any prayer requests there. And I promise you I will faithfully pray. And more importantly, believe with you for those. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back tomorrow with some more videos. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.